Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV, your financial coach, counsellor and creator. You guys asked for some videos for students and I'm going to build up a library of um, videos for students but I just wanted to put together in the meantime my five top financial tips for students. Okay, number one, have a budget. I know that sounds really dull and boring um, but I I can't tell you um, how important it is, um, not just for students, but for everyone. You need to know, when you have a budget, you know how much it costs to maintain your lifestyle. Um, and then also, by having a budget, you know your ability to be able to save, or your ability to you know, pay down debt, or even more excitingly, your ability to start investing for yourself. Um, and if you ha So when you have a budget, review it regularly, update it, because it's very natural for our lifestyle to sort of sometimes um, become a little bit more expensive over time. But yeah, number one top tip, have a budget. Two uh, is manage your cash flow. So being a student, um, there are going to be times where you aren't able to work. Um, so you need to build up your savings for the in when you expect those times to come around. So for example, you know, when I was um, studying at uni and I had assignments or um, you know, it was exam time, I wasn't able to work the amount of shifts that I would normally do. So at those, t when I knew those times were coming up, I was coming up to exam periods. I would make sure that I started saving and putting extra money into my savings account so that I could afford to take a couple of weeks to focus on, get, you know, passing all my exams and getting all my assignments done on time. So build up a really good buffer in savings for those times when you're not able to work, so that you don't actually, you know, the last thing you want to be doing is being stressed while you're studying for, you know, studying or doing an assignment about money. So build up a regular savings amount so that you don't need to worry about those times and you can actually, you know, take time off from work to focus on getting, you know, your uni work or TAFE work or college work done. It's, that's really important. My third tip is to watch your student debt. So many people just think, oh, I'm going to worry about my HEX or student loans, you know, when I finish and get a job, that's when I'll start paying it down that you do not need to do that. The quicker you start attacking your student debt or HEX debt, the better. And you should always be aware of how much debt you've actually got so that you can actually you know, start f to focus and set some goals on paying it off. Do not l wait until you've you know, um, qualified or graduated or, or got your first job to start paying down debt. You know, when you can, pay money towards that debt so it is actually going down and it, the smaller it is the more manageable it is so even if you're only able to knock you know five thousand dollars off your student debt while studying um, it's better it's going to be a lot easier to pay off twenty five thousand dollars worth of student debt versus thirty thousand dollars in student debt you'll not only save interest but you'll also get out of debt a lot sooner if it's smaller my fourth um, recommendation is if you can try and work part-time and I know some um, courses, you know, the level of work and um, time and, and assignments and exams, it doesn't actually allow you um, to, to study, uh, sorry, to have a, um, a part-time job. But, um, and, but if you can, um, that's great. It will help you give a good sense of independence. You know, you'll have some money, for, you know, to keep yourself sane and, and some, you know, spending money. Um, and obviously, of course, it's, you know, if you can manage to pick up a part-time job in the field that you're wanting to work in, you know, it gives you very, very valuable um, uh, work experience that you can add to your resume. But yeah, if you can try and get a part-time job, even if it's a half a day a week or one day a week, it, it, it will make a big difference to your financial situation. And even if it means you can you know, put a bit of extra money aside for savings, for sanity money, it's definitely worth it. My final tip um, is superannuation. I'm going to really bang on about superannuation in all my videos because I don't think people realise how valuable their superannuation is um, and how it's going to make up the majority of their wealth in their, you know, when they retire or when they, um, in their future. You, you should have one superannuation account. Um, you should make sure it's invested appropriately and invested to your personal situation and financial goals. And you should make sure that you are, you know, comfortable with where that money is invested and understand the risks involved. And um, and even if you can't contribute to it, but you should definitely learn about, you know, the impact of contributing to your superannuation account um, and um, and how that could potentially benefit you in the future. And I'm going to be doing videos on con contributing to superannuation account because super does come with some risks and it does come 
with some limitations and, and um, restrictions. But it, it, but for the time being, make sure you, all your superannuation is consolidated to the one account and make sure that it's invested for the long run, um, matching your financial um, risk attitude and your financial goals. So that was my top five tips for students. I'm going to be doing lots more student videos, so make sure you stay tuned and you're subscribed to my channel. Um, please keep the requests coming in. We love hearing you know, what you like to hear about and what you'd like to learn about. Um, if you've got any ideas or suggestions or feedback, we're all ears and we really value and appreciate the time you take to, to comment. Um, in the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv and you can also like us on Facebook. And for any of your friends that are students and think they might benefit from hearing, watching this video, make sure you like copy and paste this link in an email to them or put it on their Facebook page because it's important that you, um, that we all share our knowledge um, and uh, information with each other because it's only going to benefit all of us and that's always a really good thing to do. So that's it for this video. Ciao for now and I'll see you in my next one shortly. Okay, bye.